Bangkok is a vibrant city, with something for everyone. It offers spectacular views from some of the city's rooftop bars along with amazing food and a rich cultural heritage. But here's what you should know before coming here. So you've arrived in Bangkok and will need transport to get into central Bangkok from the airport. Well, there will be a number of taxi drivers outside the arrivals hall trying to charge you a fixed price, which is generally higher than traveling by meter. A pro tip is to try and catch a cab outside departures, two floors up, that has just dropped passengers off and ask them to go by the meter. These drivers are happy to get new passengers immediately and will almost not charge anything extra. Before you leave the airport, be sure to pick up a SIM card so you can stay connected whilst on your travels, this can be found on the first floor next to the escalators, and would recommend the DTAC Happy Tourist SIM card for around 299 Thai baht, which is roughly 9 US dollars, 8 euros or 7 pounds. Another pro tip is to exchange some money at the airport. I've found Super Rich Exchange on the ground floor towards the MRT, always has the best rates. One of the best ways to get around is using the MRT or BTS SkyTrain with trains running less than 5 minutes apart, during peak hours 6 p.m. to 9 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m., and less than 10 minutes for off-peak. Although avoid rush hour between 7 and 9 a.m. and 5.30 to 8 p.m. Travel is easily accessible with plenty of motorbikes, tuk-tuks and taxis to get you where you need to go. For extra convenience, I would recommend using the Grab or Bolt apps to save the hassle of flagging down a cab in the Thai heat. Contrary to the neon lights, fast pace and noise of some Asian cities, Bangkok offers a more relaxed vibe with the most friendly residents and fantastic transport links. You can shop till your drop in some of the world-class boutiques as well as some of the best street and night markets in the region. The best time to visit the country is during the cool and dry seasons between November and early April, when temperatures range from 29 to 34 degrees Celsius. There are three key seasons, December to March is cool with clear skies, April is hot and humid and May to November is the rainy season. Although don't be put off by traveling in the rainy season, as showers are usually brief and warm and hotel prices are good value at this time. Bangkok is packed with hotels and places to stay for all budgets, although it can be a bit overwhelming with so many locations and options. A pro tip would be to try and choose a place to stay as close to your planned evening activities, whether that be the fashionable sky bars, ancient monuments or bargaining at the many night markets, to minimize any long late night taxi trips across the city. Having traveled many times through Bangkok we've put together a list of our favorite areas, each offering a broad range of accommodation for each budget. First on the list is Khao San Road, also known as the Backpacking Paradise. This is famous in Bangkok as the ultimate meeting place for backpackers traveling through the city. You won't find many five-star hotels here, and generally consist of travelers from across the world passing through on limited budgets. Although you will find a happy hour both day and night and cheap Thai street food, this area has a party vibe with crazy nightlife and night markets to keep you entertained. The main road itself can be very busy, noisy and crowded with people into the early hours or the morning, with no sky train or subway access. The loud music from the bars can make it difficult to get to sleep and would recommend you stay off one of the side streets, rather than the road itself. If in this area during the day, make sure you pay a visit to the Democracy Monument and enjoy world-class street food nearby. Also Golden Mount Temple or Wat Socket, which is a stunning temple set on the Golden Mountain and offers a great place to watch the sunset. Or take a river ferry and jump a few spots down and explore some of Bangkok's famous temples and the Grand Palace, after which head to the JFAI restaurant, offering Michelin Star Street food, although this is reservation only and expect to pay a premium. Second on the list is the Riverside area, this is where you will find 5-star hotels located on the riverbank, offering very scenic nighttime views of the city and all the amenities you could wish for. Prices do vary and you're able to get some amazing deals during the off-peak seasons. 
If you want to experience luxury while still being close to the backpacking hub, then this is a great location. Close by river ferries make travel to all the key temples and attractions easy. If staying here, make sure to visit Wat Arun. This is one of the most famous temples in Bangkok with its unique tower colorfully decorated. Or the Grand Palace, the former residence of the king, whilst here be sure to check out Wat Frakeo in the grounds. A beautiful Buddha statue made of jade. It would also be a shame to miss the gigantic reclining Buddha. A pro tip is try and come in the evening when it's much quieter. A pro tip, when visiting any of the temples, is to make sure your legs are covered, so no shorts. The temples usually sell a traditional Thai dress to cover this if needed. If temples aren't your thing, then head over to Icon Siam, one of the city's most upmarket shopping malls, with hundreds of shops and restaurants, with a food court resembling a floating market. There is a free shuttle ferry that runs from Central Pier and River City Mall. And finally on our list would be the Sukhumvit area, our personal favorite. This is one of Bangkok's most modern neighborhoods located in the center of the city with easy access to the SkyTrain and MRT and all types of transportation. It offers great shopping, modern supermarkets, and lots of different dining options. Known for being popular amongst expats and travelers, it caters to all types of tastes and you could easily find great Italian pizza right next to amazing Thai street food. Sukhumvit offers some of the best nightlife with a wide choice or clubs, bars, pubs and skybars catering to each budget. If staying here check out some of the air-conditioned shopping malls to get away from the city heat. Some streets in the area have loud nightlife especially around the red light district. These streets are well obscured and can be easily avoided. Bangkok is known for its vibrant street markets, where visitors can find everything from traditional Thai souvenirs to trendy fashion items. Here are some of the best markets for tourists in Bangkok. Chattachak Weekend Market, also known as the world's largest outdoor market, Chattachak offers over 15,000 stalls selling a wide range of products, including clothing, antiques, jewelry, and Thai street food. Tullet Rod FAI Night Market, this market is known for its vintage and secondhand items, as well as its street food stalls, selling Thai and international cuisine. The market is open from 5 p.m. to midnight, making it a popular spot for nightlife and shopping. Pat Pong Night Market, this market is famous for its nightlife and is a popular destination for tourists looking to experience Bangkok's nightlife scene. The market features a wide range of stalls selling clothing, souvenirs, and Thai street food. The Riverfront, this modern market is a great place to shop for high-end Thai souvenirs, such as silk and jewelry, as well as international brands. The market also features a variety of restaurants and street food stalls. Damnon Saduak Floating Market, this market is located about 100 kilometers southwest of Bangkok and is a must-visit for anyone interested in Thai culture and cuisine. Visitors can take a boat ride through the waterways and sample delicious Thai food from the floating vendors. No matter what you're looking for, there is a market in Bangkok that caters to your needs. Be sure to haggle for the best prices, and remember to try the delicious street food while you're there. Now that you know all the best ways to get around, places to stay, and what to see, there are a few times of year that Bangkok truly comes to light. It celebrates some of the most amazing festivals, here's our rundown on what to see. If in Bangkok in Jan to February, check out Bangkok's Chinatown, it will be alive with red lanterns and banners welcoming in the new year. It's celebrated with dragon parades, firecrackers and street parties, with some of the best street food Thailand has to offer. The Thai New Year takes place in April from around the 13th to the 15th, and will bring the city alive in one of the hottest times of year. Temples across the city will pour scented water over people to symbolize the washing away of sins and a new start for the year. Although you'll see the city transformed into a public family-friendly water fight, so be sure to dress appropriately and bring a water pistol. Every year this festival falls on the full moon of the 12th lunar month, usually November. 
You will see ties gather along river banks with their lanterns and candles and release them into the sky and down the river banks, lighting up the night sky and waterways throughout the country. Thanks for checking out this video, if this was helpful please give this video a like. And if you would like to hear more pro tips from our travels, then please make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon, so you receive notifications every time we post a new video.